Hello everybody, it is Tuesday the 19th, got a whole bunch of mail here, um, also, some before I get started here, having a little issue with the uh, local post office, so you may remember that in my last video back on Friday, I had said that uh, I had a bunch of stuff on informed delivery, including one that's been out there a while, that I was hoping would be back quickly, and I have this, you know, cool long time wait to show off, but, uh, had something like five items, including three TTMs, never arrive there on Friday. They didn't get delivered uh, Sunday and or Saturday, I mean. Obviously, wouldn't get delivered Sunday or Monday because, you know, Sunday and holiday. But they didn't show up today either. I went down to the post office and I uh, said, dude, what's the deal with this? They said they were going to be delivered. And they basically said, oh, yeah, well, I mean, it doesn't mean we've lost them. I think you just need to check the box there. It says, you know, they're missing. I'm like, yeah, I did that when I first got this here. And, uh. So, well, you know, maybe, maybe they'll show up today. I'm like, okay, well, I've already got my mail today. They weren't here. And uh, they said, okay, well, I mean, well, just be patient, basically, is all that they were able to tell me to do, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. And so I'm just wondering, for those of you out there who are uh, subscribers here or viewing this or whatever, um, have you had a problem like that with informed delivery where just stuff doesn't show up and they say, oh, well, that doesn't mean it's going to be delivered that day, which is what they basically told me. I mean, at one point he did say verbatim, oh, yeah, it doesn't mean it's been going to be delivered that day. And I'm like, well, this is the first time that it hasn't been, so uh, you might want to check into that, their policy there, Chief. So uh, has anybody else had any problems similar to that? Um, did your stuff ever show up? Have you ever had something show up on informed delivery and go completely missing uh, and never get to you? Let me know. Leave a comment. Something like that. Whatever works. So, let's go ahead and get into the good stuff, though, right now. I've got a couple of trades, actually, to show off first. This one, uh, two, two envelopes for one trade. He had a bunch of stuff to send me, and sent a bunch of stuff back to this guy as well. So, uh, hopefully that's all gotten to him, and if not, hopefully it will be there in the next couple of days. I've got tracking on it, so I can find out where, where it's at. But I'll show you what I picked up. Open up both of these real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so, got a bunch of really cool stuff here in this deal. So, uh, first off, Brown, former a couple of former Browns to show off here. Uh, Derek Alexander and Mark Rippon didn't have autographs from either of them, especially not in a Browns uniform either, because, I mean, Alexander was only there for, I think, two seasons. Rippon was only there for maybe a season or two, so grabbing those ones was a very nice pickup. Also got a Brandon Phillips. I always look for Indian stuff on him because he spent a lot of time refusing to sign uh, Cleveland Indians items, so really happy to get that one. I'm not sure if he still has that policy or not, but at the very least, it's kind of tough to find Indian signed Phillips stuff out there compared to red stuff, so it's like, oh yeah, we'll gladly pick up any of those I can grab in a trade. I uh, got a Mel Rojas, since I don't have him at all yet. And this is the uh, one of the main pieces of our deal there, was this Vladimir Guerrero autograph, second Vlad autograph I've got in my collection there, but... Uh, yeah, real happy to add those ones in there. That's the first half of the items there. Uh, get to the second half here in a second. There we go. Let's put those there carefully. So, as you may know, I may have mentioned before, I collect uh, special teams players from the uh, NFL. So, any kind of kickers, punters, long snappers, anything like that. And I added several of those in this deal, including Robbie Gold. Haven't gotten anything from him yet. I don't have a Jason Elam until... Just now, at least I don't think I do. I might have gotten him at some point, but either way, I'll add one of him. Al Del Greco, he doesn't TTM at all, so glad to uh, pick that one up. Especially on one of my favorite sets. I mentioned before I love the uh, 96 and 97 Fleer baseball sets, so uh, 97 Fleer football is always a good option. And uh, this guy spent a little bit of time doing some long snapping when he was a member of the 49ers, Wesley Walls. Glad to add that one in. Also grabbed a 1957 Don Mossy, since I missed out on ever getting him before he passed away. Got him with the Indians as well, so goes to the Indians collection. And this is probably my favorite one out of any of these. This is a 2005 Press Pass Aaron Rodgers autograph. So that's, you know, his rookie season right there. So technically not a true rookie card since it's a college issue, but still. Very happy to get that one on uh, at least a rookie season card. Prospect card, I guess, what the what you kids are calling them these days. But yeah, there you go. So that's the first trade. Picked up all of those. Uh, very happy with those, how those came out. Second one. Another trade here. I'd have to look up and see exactly what I traded for all of these here, but uh, yeah, doesn't matter. I'm more concerned about what I get back in the deals. And so out of this one, ah, that's right. This one has a uh, few 72s that I needed, including Bob Robertson, 
and Ron Blomberg. Both those guys occasionally sign by mail. I think they usually charge about five bucks each. So uh, really happy to get those ones in though and you know, save a little bit of cash there. So two more to add to the 72 set as well. I should have some more 72 set stuff coming in later this week as well that I purchased. So uh, have a chance to show those off here once they come in. So as I said, we've got some TTMs here, three of those to be exact. Save this one to the end because uh, this one, this one's gonna be an interesting one. <coughs> Excuse me once again. First, we've got here the initials on our AP, and it's postmarked from suburban Illinois. I think this is actually coming from Indiana. I think it's going to be Alan Pinkett, former running back, especially for the most of his career with the uh, Oilers. And yes, indeed, we do have Alan Pinkett right here. There's Notre Dame as well. So there's a couple of the ones that he signed right there. Very nice return right there. Took about maybe a month, three weeks, two weeks, something like that. It's under a month, at least. We can go with that. Next one we've got here is MC from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And this is going to be another one that goes into the uh, special teamers collection there. As this guy was a Pro Bowl tight end, but also a long snapper at points in his career. This would be tight end Marv Cook. Signed all four cards that I sent. Uh, let's see. Show these ones. There we go. New England went through a lot of uh, several different long snappers in the early 90s, and Cook was uh, one of the guys who spent a little bit of time doing that there with them, mostly on an emergency basis. Whenever whenever one went down injured or ineffective, he kind of stepped in, usually for a couple games, until they got somebody else in. Uh, Tim Goad was another guy who did it. He usually handled all of the uh, place kicks, whereas Cook would handle the punt snaps. And so, I'm just going to show you a close-up on this one. Take a look at the stamp on there. Yeah, that is a Japanese stamp. And this one, if it's who I think it is, I mailed this one. I mean, it's got to be who I think it is. I've never sent, I've only sent one ever to Japan. But uh, so this one back in May or so and never saw it come back. I thought, okay, well, it's worth a try. And uh, well, now here it is. So uh, glad to see it come back. But I believe this is going to be former Red Sox pitcher Hideki Okajima in here. See here. And yes, and he, did he sign everything I sent? I think he did. Wow. Yep, signed everything I sent. We'll show off these two right here. Great looking signature. Wow, that is really cool right there. But yeah, Hideki Okajima on that one. Took, uh, what, that's six, eight months or so the, since I sent it that it comes back. But wow, that was my first attempt in ever mailing to Japan. And so, yeah, to get that one back here, very happy with that one. Really cool to see that one's another country I can add on to my uh, foreign country success list. So... Once again, thanks for tuning in here on this Tuesday, and uh, hopefully we'll have some good news from uh, the post office about my missing ones from last Friday. Uh, hopefully uh, we'll have some more come in on Wednesday and Thursday, and if we do, you'll see them coming up right now. All right, it is Wednesday, the 20th, and I've got three envelopes all coming in here today. I remember looking up two of them. Not sure about the third one, and I'm already blanking on exactly who... Two out of three, were, or one out of the... I'm blanking on some of them. I know who one of them is, at least. So let's go with that first. Um, it's going to be RH from St. Louis, Missouri, and I think this is one that I mailed back around June or so to former pitcher Ricky Horton. See, yep, that's exactly who we've got here. And we'll show off these two right here. A couple 89s right there. Dodgers one, White Sox one. So there you go. That's our first one of the day. Let's move on. Next one here. And neither of these has a postmark on it. So that's, uh, that's, I remember making it really difficult on one of them. I think the other one, I don't know if it showed up on my informed delivery or not. I don't remember now. But anyways, let's go with this one. It is FN are the initials on it. No postmark. Not really sure who it's going to be. FN in this case is, ah, that's great. Former Jets running back Freeman McNeil signed the two cards I sent. Great signature there. Small right across the bottom there, but every single letter in there. Gotta love that. And our last one, the initials are GL. Also, uh, no postmark on it. And Mr. GL is... That's right, this is former... Detroit Lions quarterback Greg Landry. Forgot about that one. There we go. Signed the two cards that I sent right there. 
a couple of 70 Zara Tops cards. That's, uh, let's see, 74 and 75 Tops. And also signed the uh, Protective Index card that I had in there as well. So, glad to get all of those back. Once again, another good day at the mailbox here. No sign of my stuff from Friday yet. Shocking. Hopefully, though, we'll be seeing those at some point this week, and uh, they do come in. I'll let everyone know here. So once again, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, we've got some more stuff coming up from Thursday right here. All right, we're here on Thursday, the 21st of January, and I have a package and a TTM. So let's go ahead and go for the package first, since I know exactly what we've got in here. This is a purchase that I made from a uh, collector friend on Twitter. So I can rest this thing open. Just get it there. Almost got it. And take the easy way out. Right along there. So, yeah, he uh, said he was going to try to, you know, solve some autographs there and to uh, kind of condense his collection down a bit. I told him, hey, uh, looking for anything that you got from 72 Tops, Donruss Diamond Kings, <coughs> any uh, 0 03 to 05 uh, Tops uh, all-time fan favorites. So he said, all right, yeah, I'll see what I got, and sent me a bunch of scans of what he was able to dig out of there. And so I found several that I needed for the 72 set, so we'll see what, what they are right here. I know what they are, but you don't, so ha ha ha. All right, so going on into these, there we go. A little bit more off of there, almost there, perfect. Okay, first one open. And so what we have here is, there we go. Got a Reggie Smith in action. So card number 566. Also got a Sandy Alomar Sr., card number 253 in the set. Uh, let's see here. Next one's right here. It's like I think there's three in these ones here. Yeah. A whole lot of tape going on here. That's always good. Glad it's the blue painters tape too. That makes things a lot easier when trying to remove it all. All right, we got the Mickey Rivers rookie card. Got the uh, 1972 Yankees Rookie Stars, signed by uh, Rusty Torres. No Hambright or Kloster on it yet, I think. <coughs> if I remember right, Kloster may sign by mail for about five bucks or so. I don't see much out of Hambright, though. And the last one is Rogelio Moray, recently deceased uh, in the last year or so. So there you go, five big needs right there, guys. It really don't sign a whole lot either, so very happy to be able to pick those up at a reasonable price and add them all into... The set there. I think it was 55 including shipping is what I paid for. It's basically, you know, 10 bucks a card plus, you know, five to ship. Not bad at all. I'll take that. So, as I said, I have a there we go, TTM in here as well. Stack that there. And so we'll take a look at this one. Initials on this one are HC, and it comes to us from the DV Daniels New Jersey Center. I believe this is going to be former New York Giant Harry Carson. Sent to him about, I think it was kind of late December there. And yeah, that is who we've got here, and we'll show these two off. <coughs> Carson, I believe, is a Hall of Famer, if I remember correctly, too. And so there you go. And so with that, the streak continues on this week. Hopefully it'll continue on into tomorrow as well. Still waiting on my stuff from last Friday to get here, so hopefully that'll be in there as well. But kind of losing hope on that one there, since the post office has proven itself to be... Uh, not exactly willing to help with this either, just uh, trying to tell me, oh, just be patient, it'll get there. Yeah, we'll we'll see about that. If it's not here another week, I'm going to go down there and rattle more cages, I think. So there you go. Hopefully we're going to have some coming up right after this, though, from Friday. It's Friday the 22nd. I feel like I should be going on a full uh, Murray Saul Friday uh, screaming thing here, but I'm not going to. Got four TTMs coming back in today, though, so we'll take a look at those. I'm um, trying to come up with some ideas also for uh, Sunday, for a show-off Sunday, because I haven't done one in a while. <coughs> Excuse me. That's part of the reason why. But um, when I got uh, Hideki Okajima back earlier this week, kind of made me think about... Uh, so I'm about to send a bunch off to Canada as well. So it kind of made me think about, hey, what other cards are out there from 
other countries and everything, because uh, card collecting is definitely kind of an American, at least North American thing, U.S. and Canada for the most part. Never really took off elsewhere around the world, but now it's really starting to kind of pick up in uh, throughout Europe. And so, you know, I've got some European soccer sets and uh, a couple of things might be worth showing off in there. So I'm thinking about doing something like that for Show Off Sunday and uh, maybe talk a little bit about international TTMing a bit there and uh, maybe try to go through and figure out some people to send to out of those sets. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully I'll be doing that on Sunday. We'll see if I get around to it or not. If not, it'll be coming up pretty soon. I think it's a, I think it's a decent idea at least. But as I said, four TTMs here today. Let's get down to these. They're all... Uh, all American, by the way. No, uh, no foreign ones here. So, sorry. <laughs> First one, um, I don't remember looking this one up. I saw, I know at least I saw three of these ones come through on uh, informed delivery, but I don't remember seeing this one there. But it's uh, the initial GF, and it's from Pittsburgh. Let's we'll start off with that one because I don't really think I know who it is. <coughs> hmm. All right. So GF from Pittsburgh. Oh yeah, I did look this one up because this is. Former quarterback for uh, several teams, especially Washington and uh, Detroit, at least here. Played for Denver as well. Gus Farratt. A couple of those right there. Unfortunately, these ones, uh, all of them got a little bit smudged, possibly on the... Not really on the back of the other cards at all. Oh, yeah, a little bit there, but... Yeah, I'll show you the other two here. You can see a little bit kind of kind of smudged there a bit, but nothing really too bad there. I mean, just put them in a, put them in a sleeve to protect them and should be all good to go, but... There you go, good stuff there out of the former quarterback. Moving on from there, we have, uh, let's see, I'm going to save that one for last. That's a, one that I'm really excited about. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with BB from Pensacola, Florida. I think this one actually was from Alabama. It's near the uh, Florida border, though, along the panhandle there. And I believe this is going to be a former running back, Brad Baxter. There we go. And yes, indeed, that's who we've got here. Show you these two right here. Good stuff right there. Always like Baxter. It was uh, had a pretty big rushing attack there for the Jets. And he was a big part of it there in the early 90s. There had, uh, what, him and Blair Thomas. Freeman McNeil, who I got back the other day, was part of it. Um, Johnny Johnson for a bit. There's got to be some big names in there that I'm forgetting. This is early 90s, before the pre-Curtis Martin era here is what I'm looking at there. But, yeah, I mean, really good rushing attack there. He was part of it there. And, yeah, happy to see those ones come back. Johnny Hector was the other one I was trying to think of, or one of the other ones at least. Uh, moving on, next one here is from Sacramento, California. The initials are MF. I think this is going to be a former Raider. This is going to be Mervin Fernandez. Take a look. And yes, that is who we've got here. Show these two. I was like the uh, 89 Pro Set and kind of the uh, colors that you don't see as often. Those uh, blue ones there. I think we're only used in maybe one series in that set, so always cool to kind of see those pop up. So there you go, Mervin Fernandez, former CFL star as well, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he's played for uh, BC Lions 82 to 86 before going to the Raiders. Had four straight thousand yard seasons, including three three of those seasons where he had uh, ten or more TDs. So uh, big numbers up there, up uh, north of the border. And the last one, still on the wide receivers. There, I mean, we had what a uh, Quarterback, a running back, and one wide receiver. So let's go to the second wide receiver right here. It's going to be H.E. from San Antonio, Texas. And I believe this is going to be former Rams receiver Henry Ellard. One of my favorites as a kid. Always enjoyed watching him whenever I could. Didn't get too many Rams games in Ohio, but this guy's a former, I mean, played in several Pro Bowls, I think, if I remember right. So, yeah, it is indeed Henry Ellard, and these came out all pretty awesome. Check those two right there. So there you go. Really happy to see those ones come back because uh, looks like he moved recently and uh, a lot of stuff was getting RTS. So tried a new address on him and worked successfully. So happy to see those come back and uh, hopefully we'll have more to come tomorrow on Saturday. And like I said, uh, hopefully going to be doing a show off Sunday video. So stay tuned for that. If I can get through, we'll post that up and hopefully I'll go well. Right now, hopefully we've got some Saturday stuff coming right now. Hey everybody, it is Saturday the 23rd, got one in the mail here, and uh, until right off the back there, uh, exactly who that is, a musical success here, Martha Reeves and the Vandellas, 40th anniversary uh, stamp on the back of it there, so cool stuff there, I'll definitely be saving the envelope from this one, but uh, there you go, it should tell you right there exactly who this is, so uh, 
a big Motown fan. I always enjoy uh, mailing off to any uh, people who are associated with the label, you know, whether they were performers or uh, anybody like that, whether it's, well, the name performers or the uh, lesser known backing musicians. There's, I think, three of them that are still alive. I've gotten an autograph from one, two that are alive out of the core group, at least, and I've gotten one of them. But yeah, there we go. So I um, mailed off a custom index card to uh, Martha Reeves, and she signed that. To Drew, love, and God bless Martha Reeves. There we go. So, great one right there to add to the collection. That's one of... I don't think there's any other Motown ones that I've gotten back. I think she's only the second uh, Motown one that I've sent off to and gotten back. But, yeah, really happy to add this one in there. That uh, green marker really stands out well there on the uh, red and white and black of the index card there. But, yeah, great stuff. So the streak uh, rolls on to seven days here. And... Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have more coming up next week. Um, I said during my uh, clip from yesterday that I'm thinking about doing a Show Off Sunday video for tomorrow. Still considering that, doing a little bit of uh, some research on some uh, various overseas ones I'm that I'm uh, hoping to send out here soon. So, uh, yeah, I might talk a little bit about those uh, coming up tomorrow. So, stay tuned. If I feel like making it, I will. If I don't, well, we'll see you on uh, next weekend then. So, yeah, thanks again. Um, SportsCardForum.com, go and check it out. Subscribe button, it's down in one of these little spots there. Hit that, get updated whenever I make a video. And that's it, we'll see you next week.